Hello, in this video we're going to look at Poisson regression using R. And this is part two because in part one we developed all the equations that we're going to use in part two. And we're going to use iteratively reweighted least squares regression from scratch and then compare it with the canned or built in function in R. <coughs> So the two background videos, of course, is in my playlist called Generalized Linear Models. One is called Iteratively Reweighted Least Squares Regression, a General Link Function. And then, of course, part one to this video where we develop the equations that we use in R. Now, the data comes from a UCLA site, which I actually kind of like. They give several examples of different techni statistical techniques using all uh, quite a few different software packages uh, and um, kind of recommend you go to it. It's kind of a nice site. And so with that said, I'm going to copy about, I don't know, six or seven lines of code from their website directly. I hope that is okay. And so the data is loaded. It looks like this. Um, number of awards that a student receives and what program they're in, general, academic, or vocational, and this is their math score. Now the next set of code, um, it makes program a factor, you know, levels one, two, three, and they code them to general, academic, and vocational, and makes ID a factor also, not really sure why. An interesting note, when I saw this within command, I didn't know what it was, so I had to look it up, and it turns out that with and within are the same commands. I use with quite a bit in my daily programming, but I had not heard of within, and I kind of like within because it's more explicit that it's within that little uh, data frame we're doing the this activity. Anyway, that's a side note. So then the two... Um, the two, the built-in function GLM, we're going to use the Poisson distribution. If you don't specify a link, it uses the log link, which is the canonical parameter. And here's a summary of the data. Now, we are not going to go into depth what each of these means, whether they're good, they're bad, indifferent. What we're going to do is try to reproduce the standard, the estimates, and then the standard errors for these estimates from scratch and, and show you that what we're doing with iteratively reweighted least squares regression is exactly what R is doing in internally. So what I want to do is I want to create dummy variables for this program variable. So there's three um, ca factors or categories and notice that R uses the general as the reference, and so we'll do the same. So we'll code academic as a 0, 1, and then vocational as a 0, 1, and then 0, 0 would be the general. I want to create a Y vector, which is our dependent variable, which is the number of awards, awards and we have a data matrix X. So our original P that we loaded from the UCLA website is this. So um, it, and then I created these two dummy variables on the end. Okay. And then I want to pretty much get rid of everything else that, you know, I, I have a, a vector of ones or a column of ones for beta zero. This is beta one, beta two, beta three. This, so this is our data matrix. Now in step one, and, and as a reminder, these equations are copied almost exactly from part one where we derived these equations in the iteratively reweighted least squares. So W and G are just matrices that we need in the iteratively reweighted least squares process. There's four beta parameters. We're going to initially estimate them to be uh, zero. In step two, we we start we use our beta estimates 
to start estimating the necessary things in our equations. So eta is what is our generic term for this linear combination and then we use the inverse link on eta which is the uh, exponential to find our mean or, of our data. Now G is it's a diagonal matrix that we we need to make this vector multiplication work. And then we create Z and W is the weight matrix in iteratively reweighted least squares. Step three is we take that information and come up with the least squares estimate for for B or beta. And then we repeat until convergence. And so let's run that. And in my program, I technically don't check for convergence. I just run it 20 times. And since I've already done this before, I know that the estimates are really close. So now let's compare our estimates. So beta, technically it is a matrix. So I use the drop command so it all it, so it makes it like a vector and it all fits on one line when you print it out. So that's what you get down here. Now in this iteratively reweighted least squares, we get by default the standard errors. And that is this X transpose W X inverse. And then that the diagonal matrix is that or the variances of our beta estimates and of course the square root would be the standard errors and that's what this is. And now let's check it with what R gets. And and there's my cat in the background and she doesn't meow or come around me until I talk on a video for some reason. And in the past I've always stopped, edited it out, but I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> now it's it's my reality. And if we notice here, see these beta estimates that we got by running iteratively reweighted least squares regression from scratch matches what we got in R that using the built-in function. And the same way with the standard errors of these beta estimates, they match very closely to what R got. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Oh, here's one note. I tried to I wanted to do an example where we used an offset and run iteratively reweighted least squares regression from scratch and I actually couldn't make it match what we got in R and so I'm sure I'm doing something very small wrong uh, you know something subtle I'm sure because I'm close but if one of you would post your R code that that does you know the iteratively reweighted least squares from scratch that would be much appreciated and that's all I have and if not I'll probably work on it over the next couple weeks and try to come up with a program that works for the offset but that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye